So a couple times a week on Instagram, I do Q and A on my Instagram stories. You can submit a question and I will answer it with a 60 second video. Sometimes I get some really good questions. And um, today's question, by the way, if you want to submit questions and um, ask me something, follow me at uh, underscore J underscore Vincent on Instagram. I do Q&A and I post a lot of cool content there. But one of the questions uh, today that is interesting and probably you know very common that a lot of people have is, when can I expect noticeable results from doing high intensity training, All right? So that was one of one of the questions. So I wanted to do kind of a longer, long format response to that because this is what most people are wondering. And of course, like everything in fitness, the answer is it depends. All right, and we're going to go over a couple of things that it depends on. But um, I remember reading or actually listening to a, a seminar by Arthur Jones, this guy behind me, the founder of Nautilus, and sort of, I guess, the founder of high-intensity training, which is a redundant term because all training should be intense if you want to do anything, but whatever. We call it high-intensity training, I guess. And one thing is he said in, in his um, one of his seminars is people are always in this impossible hurry to lose fat. He said something like, you, you can gain fat quickly. Um, you can lose muscle quickly. Um, but you cannot lose fat quickly. And this got me thinking, this is kind of like a lot of people that kind of follow high intensity training. They're more concerned with how quickly they can gain muscle. And they're in this impossible hurry to gain as much muscle as you can as fast as you can just like people who are looking to lose fat they want to lose as much fat as they can as fast as they can you know 30 pounds in 30 days or whatever kind of gimmicky nonsense you see and um the thing is you can actually gain muscle pretty quickly especially if you're an untrained individual. But I'm not sure it's going to be the level of muscle growth that most people expect. I think most people are under the impression that they could gain, you know, 30 pounds in three months, go from like, you know, skinny to super jacked before summer. For most people, this is not going to happen. But you can see relatively quick gains using high intensity training or pretty much any strength training program for that matter, considering you're doing a couple of things correctly. Of course, first one is training very hard. So if I took, you know, two individuals, one individual trained for three months, the other individual trained for three months, individual A just kind of went through his menu of exercises, three sets of 10, None of the repetitions got very challenging. And then the other individual, you know, the last repetitions of each set were extremely intense. And, you know, very close to, or if not to all the way to muscle failure. Well, obviously this individual is going to experience significantly greater gains in that three month time span than the other individual that was kind of going through the motions. So, you know, the question is, when can you start to see noticeable gains from high intensity training? Well, the first factor it depends on is, are you pushing hard? And for hard gainers, generally, the harder you push, the better your gains. Generally, that's the case for, you know, most people with average genetics. Okay. So first variable, are you training hard? Okay. Um, this is also something I teach in coaching. So if you want me to teach you how to train really hard so you can see the fastest gains, click the link in the, in the description. Book a call with me. So, you know, number one, are you training hard? Number two, what's your diet look like? What's your goals? You know, so if you are, you know, again, a very thin guy and you're doing high intensity training or any sort of weight training, 
not really paying attention to your diet, you're just kind of eating what you used to eat. Well, you're probably going to see worse results than if you paid attention to your diet, paid attention to your calorie intake, protein intake, things like that. Um, also, if you know, you're trying to lose fat, it's going to be entirely diet dependent. If you are not paying any attention to your diet and you're doing high intensity training, a couple workouts a week, you'll have a slight improvement in body composition, but you're not going to lose pounds and pounds of fat like the fitness industry tells you you will when you embark on an exercise program. So the second thing it depends on is your diet. Third, you guys probably saw this coming. It's your genetics. There is a variety of responders when it comes to everything. You know, it's a nice blue sunny day out. There's a variety of responders when it comes to getting a suntan out in the sun. Some people get very dark very quickly, myself included. I, my skin gets extremely dark very quickly. Meanwhile, I have some friends who could go in the sun for one hour a day, every single day for two weeks, and their skin will not change. They will just burn. Different, different responses to the stimulus of sunlight. Just like there are different responses to sunlight and how tan your skin will get, there's a huge variety of different responses to exercise. Some people will respond very, very quickly. I've had actually trained individuals in my coaching who have been lifting weights for years, gain 10 pounds in four weeks. I've had people take longer than that. Of course, I've had some people take about six months to gain 10 pounds. So it really, really depends. It really depends on your genetics. Some people will take very, very long to, you know, potentially gain a little bit of mass. Some people may put on mass very quickly. But generally, the high responders to exercise, they generally gravitate towards things like traditional bodybuilding routines. And they never really gravitate towards high intensity training. It's generally the people who have average responses to exercise and muscle growth. They kind of gravitate towards this way um, because generally what they've tried in the past didn't work. And then this finally does. But I would say kind of, you know, with the right, uh, on average, most people, considering this is the first time you're training correctly, in my coaching, I've seen about five to 10 pounds of muscle gain in a month with two workouts a week. On average, considering the people are doing exactly what I tell them to do, um, have not neared their genetic limit through other training, and they're, this is the first time they're actually doing it correctly. So a couple examples of this is I, I've had a lot of clients who kind of, they've done other routines, and they kind of hit this plateau, and they're like, oh, I've been doing this workout for 10 years, and nothing's happened. And then they do high intensity training under my supervision, five, 10 pounds in a month. Um, so there are a, a large percentage of people that I'm noticing who have worked out in the past, but are so far away from their genetic potential because what they did was just so ineffective that they can see remarkable gains very quickly. But you've got to have all these pieces together. You know, um, you've got to make sure that you are training with adequate intensity. Most of the time when I see people train, they are falling five reps short of muscle failure. You've got to, you've got to get to that limit. You've got to prioritize recovery. You've got to make sure you're sleeping well. You've probably got to avoid drinking a lot of alcohol. You know, occasional bottle of beer or glass of wine here and there is fine. Um, but you can't be like going out and drinking consistently. Got to have good good sleep, obviously. You put all those things together. I've seen the average guy with average genetics put on about 5 to 10 pounds of muscle in a month. So back to the question, when can you expect to see noticeable gains? When it comes to the body composition changes, you'll see noticeable gains three to four weeks considering you're doing everything correctly. You will see noticeable gains in strength immediately because initially 
the improvement in strength is largely neurological in your nervous system and your neurological adaptations occur very quickly. So you're going to notice when you first start doing training or high intensity training, you're going to be able to do more weight the next workout consistently for like four, five, six, maybe eight weeks. This is because your nervous system is adapting. Okay. Yes, there's some, there's some improvement in the actual muscle tissue. Yes. But a lot of it is that neurological improvement. And then you're going to notice kind of a plateau. You say, you know, I've been doing more weight every workout for four, five, six weeks. And I've been doing the same weight on this exercise for three weeks. What's going on? Am I doing something wrong? No. That's when your neurological adaptation has kind of reached its limit. And every improvement in strength from there on out is going to be accompanied by an improvement in actual contractile tissue. So you'll see a huge improvement in strength or the amount of weight you can use in exercises due to neurological adaptations immediately. And then somewhere around three, four weeks or so, if you're doing it correctly, you'll see a noticeable change in body composition. Okay. So that's kind of a long response to that question. These are things that I've noticed training people in my studios for seven years and then coaching people online for the last three. That seems to be a general predictable result in many cases. This doesn't mean all cases. This doesn't mean everyone is going to see a noticeable improvement in muscle size in four weeks. Some people may see more. Some people may, may see nothing. There's a bunch of different variability. But that's kind of um, where I would ballpark it. Okay. So the answer to your question, if you're not seeing exponential changes in strength in the first couple weeks in any body composition change in four weeks of training you're doing something wrong obviously okay um if you want to learn and figure out what you're doing wrong click the link in the description book a call with me join my coaching program i'll figure it out and we'll get you where you need to be so <clears throat> if you guys have any other questions you would like a long answer to Check out my Instagram. It's uh, underscore J underscore Vincent. I do the Q&A there a couple times a week. And I'm going to start picking, you know, good questions and going over them in more detail on YouTube. And of course, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified when I answer more fitness questions and give you detailed evidence-based answers to get you in shape with minimal time in the gym as quickly as possible.